Lined on the first baseline, fair ball. That will drive in two, and the Hatters lead it three to two. First pitch from Tolbert. Ground ball up the middle, through into center field for a base hit. The Brant will score, and the Hatters now lead it four to two. So no fly ball or pop outs here yet for Stetson in this game. In the air this time, deep left field at the warning track. Goodbye. Home run, Courtney Brandt, and the Hatters lead it 7-2. to two. Ground ball, base hit, back up through the middle. A run scores, and the Hatters lead 8-2. to two. Carolyn Boyd is three for four today. After the conclusion of this one. Swing and a miss, and there it is. Strikeout number nine for Owen. And the Hats finish off an eight to three win. Mesa does not have an at bat officially with the bases loaded. Into short center field, that ball will find some grass. One run is in, here comes Nip, here comes the throw. She is safe and the Hatters lead two to one. Into right center field, that ball will fall for a base hit. Here comes Mesa, she will score. RBI single for Boyd, puts Stetson ahead four to one. Stetson baseball still leading six to nothing. Bouncing ball back up the middle, Mesa makes a nice stop, steps on second, throw to first in time. A fantastic double play by Demi Mesa in the inning is over. In the dirt, it gets away. Here comes Courtney Brandt, and the Hatters will win game two, 11 to three. All right, I'm with uh, Carolyn Boyd and Allison Sutherland. Congratulations, you guys. Doubleheader sweep today. Carolyn, let me start with you. Six hits at the plate today. You look a lot more comfortable up there this year. How do you feel at the plate? Um, I feel I feel good. I feel relaxed. I feel ready to hit, and I think I, I worked with the coaches a lot in the, the preseason coming up, and I think that I'm, I'm just glad I can contribute to my team and, and really play a role in that. Talk about the job Bethune Cookman did today. Even though the scores were a little lopsided, it seemed like they really made you work today. They can hit. They're a scrappy team, and it's a team we're always worried about. We knew in the first game that we were at four something, and four runs is not enough, enough against a team like that because they're going to hit and they're going to come back. So you got to keep pushing because of the team that we played against. The last three games, you guys have actually been behind early in the game, but all three times, the very next half inning, you've come back to take the lead. How important is that to answer another team's uh, offensive innings? I think that just shows a lot about who we are as a team right now and that we are coming together. And, and I think that it happened to us the first time last weekend, and, and I was thinking that, you know what, this is going to tell us a lot about where we are as a team. And, and we stepped up, and we continue to step up as a team, and I'm excited to see the season. All right, let me move over to you, freshman. I know when you got up this morning, you probably weren't expecting to catch two games today. No. Uh, and you probably didn't expect to hit either. Your first time up there, you're up with the bases loaded and two outs. What's going through your mind? Talk me through that first at bat. Well, I was just waiting for something low and outside because that's what I like to hit to right field, and I got it. So I was just had a clear mind today. How much confidence did that give you after getting that first big hit in that first game? A lot of confidence. I felt like, hey, I can play with these guys. <laughs> well, you were also very busy behind the plate today, a lot of action. Talk about the job the two pitchers did, and how is it different catching Meredith versus catching Courtney? Um, they did a really good job today. They kept trying to get ahead on batters, and I guess the main difference is just knowing how to treat each pitcher because they both have different mindsets. So just trying to figure that out is key. All right.